tell us it? International Women's Month, right? Yeah. Yes. So nothing. We're very happy here. She said, uh, let's let's roll with it. We're very happy in our month. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so we split up the questions. We all kind of answered them, but we um, we picked some to focus on. Um, so I'm going to go first. The question is, uh, what are your favorite restaurants in South Florida for wine? And there's a there's a long list. Um, I love Arson, which is now partnering with New Kitchen. That's Karina's restaurant. Uh, it's Catalan, great wine list. Uh, Boya Day, our former digs. Uh, hometown Barbecue over in Alapada. Jaguar Sun, that's currently up in Little River at Lot 6. Uh, Macchialina over on the beach. Italian food, amazing Italian wine list. And uh, Itamayo for in Design District that's doing delicious Peruvian food um, with a great list. And they have a great Peruvian wine. Which all over the world. Great Peruvian I've never wine. Had before, so. And wine director. Yay. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> uh, and soon so to be Carrot EBB as well. But already my one of my favorites. Okay. <laughs> Say less. Um, <laughs> guys, can you tell me what's the other question? Maybe I can answer. Yeah, uh, another question that we had was any regions, wine, or bridal you're especially excited about right now? Mm. Well, I, I am obsessed with a lot of wines, but I have to say that the one that got my heart recently, it is, I think we have it over here somewhere. Oh yeah, this guy's right here. It is Amor per la Terra, that means uh, love for the land in Catalan. And I don't know why, I don't know if it's the connection that I have with the Catalan restaurant, but I'm, I'm crazy about these wines. It is um, bring to us by Arash, and it's imported to the United States by uh, Ana and Alvaro de la Vina. And what I love about it is the earthiness. What I love about it is how it gets me back to Spain this is a project that is meant to highlight um, the farmers uh, of Catalonia, Tarragona, L'Empordà, and uh, what they do pretty much is wine as has always been, you know, they stop calling it natural wine, it's just like a wine as it should be. And it's delicious, and I'm so obsessed with it that I made a, a solo section list in new kitchen for these wines because I want everyone to taste them. Uh, so that would be my answer. I love that. I love those wines too. Yeah. I've never tried it, so I'm actually really excited to try them out. Yeah. First time. I'm really, really excited about that. They're a vibe. Next. All right, next question. Any interesting reads about wine that you recommend? Uh, that was actually a pretty tough one. I had to think about it for a little bit. Um, I feel like I go through cycles of when I'm like really reading like actual like books or like you know online articles that get shared. I feel like I'm in a different couple of different group chats where people like share resources that they're doing. So it's very much like of the moment. But I would say if you're like trying to learn, I mean, so we obviously very much specialize in natural wine. So I would say as far as like any interesting reads about natural wine, I started by reading um, Natural Wine by Isabelle Legeron. Um, she is she's the founder of Raw Wine, which is a big wine fair uh, that happens all over the world, like in Berlin, London. It was here in Miami in uh, 2019, 2019, right? Yeah, 2019. Okay, time. <laughs> yeah, it was like whatever year it is. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a like formidable wine, uh, like book for me about wine because it really answered a lot of direct questions about what I had with the uh, natural wine. Um, so I think that's a great book. Another one is uh, What Is Biodynamic Wine by Nicolas Jolie who's like the, for me, kind of like the father of like biodynamic wine in the Loire Valley. Um, we used to have uh, one of his wines on the list at Boyday, we probably still do. Um, and I think it answers a lot of direct questions about what biodynamic wine is, which is like not a style, it's a type of farming, which I think a lot of people don't really understand like the difference between the two. Um, another one, I, I actually also like going on punch.com. Um, they have some really great articles and I feel like, like there was one about like decolonizing wine or mm -hmm. stuff about pairing or stuff about very like of the time questions that people have about wine and they're really approachable. Um, so those are some, I think, good places to go if you're curious about reading stuff about wine. 
next question. Yeah, tell me. I can do oh. it. Oh. Um, <laughs> what is the sexiest wine? Oh boy. Uh, Karina, answer that yes. one. Yes. First thing I wanted to say, with all due respect, would you ask that question if it was three male wine directors? That's just putting it out there. Now that I say that and I bet a little bit, uh, I want to say that it's just, just like a person. What is the sexiest person to me? The one that it gives me more than I'm expecting? The one that it has layers, that it has textures, that it has personality? And um, it happens, it happens to me. I'm, pretty, I'm sure that it happened to all of us. It's like you meet someone and it looks great and super sweet and cute and good looking, but then the chemistry and the essence ain't there. You, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so that's how I feel about wine, you know, for wine for me has to have all those things, personality, uh, texture, layers, expons like all that is what makes, I guess, sexy. Uh, so if, I don't know if I answered the question. I love that. I like that answer too. The next question is, should we open more wine? My yeah. vote is yes. Yes. So here we are. Yes. Uh, uh, that is the director, Scorsese. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Martin Scorsese is behind the And what is the magic, the magic eight ball also is answering. What is it? Should My sources say wine? no. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 we to that. Should we open more wine? Uh, just in case. Ah, so Possibly. maybe uh, Bianca or Vera will explain this wine that we're going to drink a little quick. Ooh, I could try. I've actually never had this cuvee. Mm -hmm. This is Anders Frederick Steen. Um, in, I'm going to die if this is wrong, but I feel like it's from the Ardesh. Um, yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Sick. It's from, uh, yeah, so Southern, uh, mm, Southern Rome. Yummy. Southern Rome. Yes. Um, former sommelier in Copenhagen, now winemaker, and he makes about a bajillion cuvées, and some of them are absolutely wild and unexpected. Some of them are very, like, classy and clean, and I, I'm a big fan of all of all of these wines. And this one is actually a blend of grapes and apples, so it's kind of like yeah, uh, cider, so cider delicious. sparkling wine. It smells like it immediately. Very yeah. allocated. Very, very exclusive. Very shishi wine. Sorry. So next question. Next question is how did you all meet? And um, obviously we met at church because look at us. We were very devoutly praying and drinking church wine. And, uh, you know, that's how we got into it. But in all seriousness, we've known each other for a few years now. I've worked with both of these ladies. Um, Bianca and I used to work at a wine bar together very briefly, but we had a, a strong spark. A and brief and intense love affair. A brief, like to and, and it just continued in, in, various, in various other places, and we continued to work together. And I had a brief and beautiful love affair with Karina at her restaurant, Arsen, as well. So it's Same just... <laughs> They're still very much in love. So. And then uh, we all kind of just started hanging out together, uh, spending a lot of time in New Kitchen, eating clams. That's where we had our first friend date. We had and also our... every time that we have a chance, we try to do things together, like uh, the event that we do in on uh, Monday for uh, Women's Day and whatever, whatever, uh, like uh, if it's an opportunity, we would love to hang out. And um, I mean, right? Yeah. I Power in numbers and better together. Like it's, it's lonely otherwise. That's so better to, better to do things together. I mean, this is the hospitality industry. We, we want to serve people and we want to have fun and we want to bring that joy and we, do it best through our friendship and our excitement. And the fact that we really enjoy this. I mean, it's it's fun. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's cute. Um, it's Jesus. true and it's real. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> next, next. Uh, I, I will do this one. Um, I'll try to not be too cheeky about it. So on a desert island with one bottle of wine, what is it? Um, so if I was stranded on a desert island um, and I was alone and that was my situation, I'd probably 
want water uh, or wine in some sort of container like this that has ice and water in it to keep my wine cold and then so I can drink the water afterwards. However, if this is like a my last wine on earth kind of situation, I'd probably go for like, I don't know, the most expensive, nice thing I could probably get my hands on or like a, which is probably from the Jura, to be honest, like some sort of like crazy, like 20 year old, like Sauvignon, like, yeah. you know, like just like something like, if this is it, if this is Tipping like how we're going out, out mm -hmm. yes. going for yes. the tippy, tippy, well, tippy top, like, tippy top, I don't know, like, um, Auvernois, you know, oh, something crazy. I would should love getting it. <laughs> well, right. So yours. Dying. Yeah. What would be yours? What would you pick? If you're like dying. Ooh, yeah, I'd be so concerned, but I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I would be so concerned. <laughs> I would be like, let's bring Angel. I would be like, let's bring Angel. I would actually um, never, I've actually never had whispering Angels, that would be dope. Like, yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, let's try it. I don't know. It's pro it's, I'm not going to say it. I really don't know, you know, and she's like, that question, that's when we kind of divide the question, I was like, I'm not doing that one, because I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I know that she's like, the best wine is the wine that it gives you great memories, you yeah. know, but I'm also confident and optimistic, is that a word, mm -hmm. optimistic, that the best wine is the wine that I haven't tasted yet, right, so, I've never had I don't Overnois, know. especially like a 20 year old Overnois, so like, oh. if I'm dying, right. that's on my list. So I'm there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hope I'm not by myself. You know, I hope I can share. Like, we're like on a desert island with Wilson, the the volleyball. Like, yeah, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> I don't still think, can't share my. I wine. might not be thinking about wine, but probably I will be. Yeah, I'll so probably be missing it a lot, especially after like 6 p.m. Oh, I'm like, okay, okay. Done. that's enough. Uh, what are your thoughts on pairing menus? Ooh, I like this one. Um, I think about this a lot. I. I feel like I end up getting drunk and talking to people about wine pairing pretty often anyways. So um, I think that wine pairing menus have their place. I think that this is kind of like a two part question where people are like ask you like, oh, I'm having this food. So like, what should I drink with this? And I very much believe that like most wines, especially like most natural wines are like higher in acidity. They're a little bit brighter. They go with food very well. Obviously, like I'm not gonna pair like a big red with like oysters, but like I feel like most people don't do that. But also, if you do do that, it's not gonna like ruin your food. It's just not gonna be as great as if you paired it with like sparkling wine. So I think that wine pairing menus are I like them. I think they're fun, especially if it's like for an event. It's a very like well thought out like each wine goes with like a dish, but like overall if you're eating something and you're trying to pick a wine it's it's probably not going to get ruined by like whatever wine you pick i guess is how i feel about it i don't know if you guys feel the same i feel I like wouldn't. there's not one wine for every food so it's like you don't have to be such a stickler for just there is only one option like there's a multitude of wines that will taste great mm -hmm. so don't be like stuck in the in like dogmatic wine pairings, I guess. I agree. Yeah. Next question is favorite dish and wine pairing. Mm -hmm. So this is mine. The first one that came to mind. I mean, so many, but I have a very distinct memory of a crab pasta and sparkling gouvre at Boyade that I would recommend to everyone together, um, and I would drink that. So I agree. With I do roasted chicken, like um, like um, Julia Child mm -hmm. vibe, like a lot of butterness, and mm -hmm. she's like a super rich with a twenty seventeen Pearl Moise. Oh my god! Chardonnay. Oh my that god! That being one of my parents, yeah. and then she said like, whatever. But that I would love to do that when we when you have the man's like, mm. mm -hmm. that's it. But that's what I would do. I love mm. that wine. I just. That sounds so I great. think it's just things that you like to eat and wines that you, <laughs> that you really like to drink, drink and sandwich. then you can marry them. And, and like, then typically that works. Sometimes, yeah. again, sometimes it may be like, okay, if you really like eating fish and amarone, like maybe don't, but like 
If you do, that's also fine. It's also fine. It's not gonna be bad. Not, it's not judgment. Gonna be like, no. no, do your do your thing. We like we're wine professionals, experts, what have you. But typically, we just drink what we like and we eat what we like. That's true. And we that's encourage true. you to do the same. Sometimes they are too much. <laughs> yeah, don't do as much <laughs> as us. It's not great. So what else? Last uh, question is where uh, where do I go to stock up on new wines that won't break the bank? That's me. That's a good one. Okay. I'm going to tell you, here in South Florida, where we are, it's just pretty much we all the same, like a one buck up, one buck down, like a dollar, two dollars. The only thing that I'm going to say, and I'm going to encourage, and I'm going to ask you people, just go to a wine shop. Go to a wine shop. Go to see Jeffrey. Go to see Lucio. Go to a small wine shop. Go Come to see me. Go to see Bianca. Go to see Michaelina, Jackie. Just because you know we're happy we're happy to have you we're just live for wine we want to see you to talk about wine that's our thing you know it's just like a, that's that's where we're waiting we're there just like waiting for you to come and ask what do you recommend what do you think of this or i saw this on instagram should i get it what so um uh, that's one thing that i recommend another thing it's just like i know that other states like Let's say New York or uh, LA, no, I mean not California. Um, they have, I wouldn't say better, but bigger and more options than we do. But I'm gonna ask you please nicely um, to buy local because we are the wine community here in Miami. We're trying, we're trying pretty hard, and um, and we need you because you guys at the end is the last consumer, the, the bottle gets to you and we need you. And just like that, that's, that's a little thing that I'm encouraging and asking. And uh, also because it will help us to get back on our feet after all this disaster. And that that's what I have to say. Um, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Nailed it. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for the question. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And uh, salute. Thank you for to Demo for recording our. Shout out Shout to Martin. Out. Let's go, Scorsese. Yes. Thank you.